All right, so the first puzzle complete. Very nice. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Outstanding. Both witches managed to cross the colorful pass and find their way home. Woohoo. Well done, Luke. That was a piece of cake. I can solve harder puzzles than that. I'm pleased to hear that, Luke. It was a charming little puzzle, though, like straight out of a fairy tale. If only the witches of the Middle Ages were as jolly as the ones in this picture book. Yes, indeed. Well, it looks as if the rain is about to stop. Shall we prepare to go home? Okay, Professor. Now, where did I put my umbrella? <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm? Professor, I think we have a visitor. At this late hour? I can't say I've been expecting anybody. I'll go and see who it is. Boy, Joe, she's got beautiful legs. Take that dress off, honey. <laughs> it's soaking wet. Get her naked. Are you Mr. Herschel Layton? Mm, yes, indeed I am. My dear young lady, how may I be of assistance? I have been asked to give you a letter. Please, could you read this? This letter, it's from Carmine. Carmine? Who's Carmine? He was a student of mine a number of years ago, and if I recall correctly, he's now a detective. Wow, a detective? Um, about Carmine. Yes? I, um, well, I'm sorry. It appears there may be a matter of some considerable importance within this letter. Let's read it right away, Professor. <laughs> oh boy, this voice acting is great. <clears throat> Dear Professor, It has been a long time. Oh, this guy's there is so much I would like to tell you. He's but Italian. at present, I do not have the time. No, he's from French. This guy might be French or Italian. I can't tell. My life is in danger. I am being chased by something terrifying, and I am not sure whether I can escape. It all started in a town called Labyrinthia, a mysterious town, one that you will not find on any map. One that you will not find on any map. It sounds like Puss in Boots. It's Antonio Banderas. I found myself there during the course of an investigation. While I was there, a series of unbelievable events occurred right before my eyes. Okay. I realized the town held a mysterious secret and decided to get to the bottom of it. But before I could, they found me. I escaped from Labyrinthia with a young woman by the name of Espella. Oh, okay, so she's it not was British. I believe that she held the key to solving the secret of that town. Alright, she's not British. I have to figure out what she's supposed to be. We have to wait for her to voice act, I guess. <clears throat> it is not me they are pursuing. It is Espella. As such, I am asking you to help her. You must help her. Oh! Uh -huh. Labyrinthia hides an ominous mystery. This is one puzzle that appears to be beyond my powers to solve. I apologize for imposing on you in this way. Your faithful student, Carmine Accidenti. Carmine Accidenti. I live at Chicago Sucker. <laughs> Letter from Carmine added to items. <clears throat> Professor, am I right in assuming that you are the Espella to whom Carmine is referring? Y yes Yes, I am. Tell me, what on earth happened? I'm afraid I'm not entirely sure. It seemed as if we were being chased relentlessly. They caught up with us and we were attacked. As a result, Carmine was injured. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. He bravely did his best to ensure that I escaped safely. I beg you, please help him. Please help that brave man. You mustn't worry about him, Spella. Knowing Carmine as I do, I'm sure he'll be alright. But... 
Ever since I've known him, he's always been in some difficult situation or other, and he's never failed to win through. More importantly, at the moment, I'm frankly more concerned with your safety, Espella. You're concerned about me? According to this letter, the one there is thereafter is you. Are you certain that you're alright? You weren't injured at all? Me? No, I I'm fine, really. I think you'd better take a rest, even if just for a little while. Your clothes are all wet, too. I'll go and find you a dry towel. Thank you, you're really too kind. <clears throat> it's no trouble at all. As soon as you're more comfortable, we can sit down and talk. Professor, if what was written in that letter is true... Yes, indeed. It means this young lady is in real danger. And it also means that her pursuers might even come to this office in search of her. I'll go and lock the door. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. At any rate, we need to talk to Espella to find out what this is really all about. <clears throat> mysteries. Join Professor Layton and revisit some of the story's major mysteries. Touch a mystery to view it. Strange girl. A strangely dressed young girl suddenly appeared asking Professor Layton for help. It would seem she is being pursued by someone or something. A spell appeared in my study full of fear. I do not know who she is or where she has come from, but I wish to help her. Cool. <clears throat> oh, a touch screen, huh? Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'm sorry to put you both to all this trouble. Please, think nothing of it. Although, if it's all right with you, I'd like to hear a little bit more about what happened. We won't be able to protect you without a clearer understanding of the circumstances. Protect me? It is my belief that you are in quite considerable danger. And it is the duty of every gentleman to help a lady in trouble. <laughs> I, I sincerely thank you, but then why are you doing it? You look like a disgusting freak. Why would you help me? <laughs> Not a real gentleman. <clears throat> now it would certainly appear that you are being pursued. However, Carmine's letter referred to your pursuers as they. Could you tell me who they might be? They are witches. <gasps> Where? D did you say witches? Yes, witches, and they are truly terrifying. Carmine did his best to protect me from them, but in the end, he was unable to escape. They caught up with us. If they realize I'm here, then you two may also end up in danger. Hmm. Perhaps it would have been better if I hadn't come here. Spello? Yes? You mustn't worry yourself. Everything is going to be alright. Really? You have my word. We'll be on our guard. That's right. Nothing to worry about. The place is tightly locked up. Thank you both. Miss Bella, I'd like to inquire a little more, if I may. Uh, yes, yes, of course. The town you came from is called Labyrinthia, isn't it? 